back to Mark's Milfoy. His pastry is out of the oven and he's ready to make the filling. This is like the really ultimate chocolate mousse, hence hundreds of pans. Um, so what I will start to do is I have some egg yolks. We need to form a savvy on, OK? And this basically is going to go into our um, chocolate mix. Mark whisks the eggs until light and fluffy and slowly pours in the hot sugar syrup, which will cook the egg yolks. You can see now that's gone lovely and pale mm -hmm. and uh, really got thickened, yes. So what we do now is that's still sort of reasonably warm-ish. Uh, so we'll get our kind of warm chocolate and what we'll do is we'll mix our chocolate into this egg mixture now. So I'll just put that into there. Mark incorporates the melted dark chocolate and then strains and whips his lavender cream before gently folding through the chocolate mixture. Right, you just want this cream to sort of loosen the... Uh, the mixture. Now I'm going to make an Italian meringue. Um, so I'm going to use some uh, sugar, which is coming up to again softball stage, around about 120 degrees. Turn this on. To create the Italian meringue, Mark pours the sugar syrup into the egg white slowly and whisks until the mixture becomes thick and glossy. What you see is you have this kind of really lovely marshmallowy yeah, texture, and also you've got this um, sort of lovely shine to it, and that's you know now cooked. And uh, the sugar in that. I used um, water, sugar, and a little bit of glucose. So, similar to when you make a souffle, we'll put sort of the first third of the egg whites in and just give that quite a, a good beat because it kind of basically then allows you to fold the rest of that in. Mark pours the chocolate mousse back into the rest of the egg whites and folds it all through. He then pours the mousse into a piping bag. And then we'll put this into the fridge and then that'll set really nicely, like a lovely mousse, and then that'll be ready for piping. With Mark's mousse done, it's time for Gizzy to check on the rice pudding for her souffle. So this has got ten minutes left of its cooking time and I'm just going right. to put in some sugar that now, so this is where it's going to get its sweetness from. It's Have a you... really good idea. I've never, ever seen this before. This is a total first for me. Yeah, I've seen it in a few restaurants in London, and it's where I got my, my inspiration from. And yeah. I thought I wanted to try and give it a go at home. I'm going to just quickly um, do my souffle pots. We're going to butter them as you normally would. I'd yeah. probably do a couple of layers of butter, actually. We are, have then got some um, rice flour and um, icing sugar. Right. And we are going to put those in here. Rice flour, that's very interesting. Yeah, it just stops yeah. it. You know, rice flour actually is amazing. It's, it's a lot more um, palatable than plain flour, yeah. especially in a, in a pudding like this. And then we're just going to take that out and we are going to grate a load more nutmeg Yum. over this, just to give that extra flavour. And it just also looks so beautiful mm. on the outside. With her ramekins prepared, Gizzy finishes her souffle mix. She whips up egg whites until they form medium peaks and then incorporates a third into the rice pudding mixture that's been cooked and cooled. And then I'm going to go in with the rest of this. And this is where we have to be super, super delicate. Yeah. Particularly with this one because it's obviously going to be a little bit more fragile mm -hmm. because of the density of these grains. And you're using a lot of base to egg white here, which is I think is great because some souffles are all... Egg People white. think they might rise like this, they look amazing, but they're all air and it should have a bit of depth and volume and flavour to it, so it looks good. And then we're going to load up our puddings. Ooh. Have you done this one before? Is this, is this a gizzy classic? <laughs> Are you really confident with this I one? I have... No, I'm not really confident with this good, one. Good, because I want to win one. <laughs> <laughs> I've, done I've done this once um, or twice before. Right, so hot oven. Uh, 190 for about 12 minutes. OK. Wish me luck. Good luck. <laughs> Gizzy carefully puts her souffles in the oven and Mark gets his chocolate mousse from the fridge so he can build his mill foy. Here's the mousse which is uh, already sort of set, so we'll just snip off the end. We need some stability on here, so I'm just going to put a little uh, squiggle. So what I'll do is I will um, squash that onto here and then really it's just a case of... Uh, Filling them up the layers, so this isn't one portion, Giz, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah. One portion for me. Two little layers like that, and then we'll take our next sort of slightly, slightly prettier one. It's almost like having kind of, um, you know, like praline or crackling or something oh, like yeah. that in the middle. You can even see just by working that mousse that it is actually worth the effort, isn't it? Yeah, and it's got a lovely, beautiful sort of velvety texture, lovely sort of shine, and then finish off. Right, that's mine ready to go. Gizzy pours the raspberry sauce and double cream into serving jugs and it's time to see if the souffles are up to the challenge. But look at that. 
please stay up, please stay Excellent. up. Excellent, well done. Well done, you. All right. So my ultimate pudding, rice pudding souffle with raspberry sauce and double cream. And here is my ultimate pudding, which is a chocolate and lavender milfoy. Time for Mark and Gizzy to find out which ultimate pudding is perfect. <laughs> oh, well done. I mean, it's rice pudding souffle, raspberry sauce, free. <laughs> Chocolate lavender milfoy, zero. I have been completely whitewashed. Well done. <laughs> well done, you. Brilliant. <laughs> the judges appreciated the technical skill that went into Mark's milfoy but they loved Gizzy's twist on a traditional British comfort pud. And for them, her rice pudding souffle really had the wow factor.